Good evening everyone. Today I'm taking you to meet somebody that came to live temporarily in a town called Seam. Uh, but the people who were there liked this person so much that they actually convinced him to stay and he's now a permanent resident. So we're going to see somebody in Seam. Just north of Peter Lee, heading north on the A19. And if you stick with me, I'll show you how to get there and meet this very popular gentleman. Seam's a coastal town with a port and a marina on the uh, East Durham coast. When coal mines were still operating, a lot of the beaches were black with coal dust, but now they've all been cleaned up and they're beautiful. There used to be a glass factory nearby, and on the beach you often see people collecting effectively glass pebbles where the glass has been polished by the sea and smoothed off in all the rocks and people take that away and make jewellery from it. And one of the Alien films is actually filmed on a beach at Seam. Alien 3 I believe, so the scenes around the cross spaceship were on a blast beach at Seam. So this is the turning we're taking, the A182. And we're going to go up to the slip road and turn right at the roundabouts. If you're approaching from the north, as in heading south, I would still recommend you come to this junction because it's by far the easiest if you don't know your way to get to see gentlemen we're going to see today. Imagine working in one of those offices over there. What a view. On a sunny day it's beautiful. On a stormy day the sea is always magnificent. It would be a nice place to have as an office. And we're going to go straight across this roundabout too. Kind of a right turn at this roundabout, which will take us along the seafront. And unless something very strange has happened, our friend will be waiting for us.
So this is Tommy. His real name is 1101, symbolizing the first minute of peace after the end of the First World War. It's a statue by a sculptor called Ray Lonsdale, who's done a number of sculptures in this area. And the detail is amazing if you look at the buckles. The ropes. It is an absolutely amazing sculpture. Detail is fantastic. Here we go. Now adrift in the wake of this glorious slaughter, he'd seen many a soul cleansed in filthy water. Seen godless men reach out for the Bible, as led toward the flesh from both friend and rival. Soon home to the joy and celebration of kin, drunken slaps on the back at a favourite inn. But heavy in his pocket lies a small piece of card, and the note written on it will break a mother's heart. 1101 Ray Lonsdale. So this was on loan to see him. And was purchased by the community and the council. It's a very popular spot. So there you have it, Tommy. On a sunny day, there will be lots of motorbikes here. An amazing piece of work. Okay, that was Tommy. So now you know how to get here. There's no excuse not to visit. So there's loads of places to eat, get snacks, and see them. Fish and chips, ice cream, parlours, coffees, restaurants. And keep an eye on your bike if you park over there. But I'm actually going to take you round to my favourite coffee. Oh, maybe I left too early. So the coast along here is uh, quite rocky, this little part. But there's a nice espionade down the bottom to walk across. And that's where you'll see everyone trying to find glass. All the coloured glasses that are washed up by the sea. So we turned right out of the car park from Tommy and we just go straight over this roundabout and follow the road round. There's another car park coming up on the right hand side here. So just up here is my favourite coffee called Tonya's Obviously it's shut at the moment Park up here for now. So 
So normally the restaurant's open, you can go in there, sit at a table, or they have tables out here where you can sit and have something to eat. And when I'm heading off north into Northumberland or something like that, I tend to call in here, have a breakfast, and then get on my way. It's really nice. Okay, that's Tonya's. Highly recommended. So I'm going to go back the way I came. This is the approach from the south. Heading south, you want to be 1444 to see them. Personally, I don't think this is the best way, but if you're not sure of uh, where you're going, it's best to have both options. Turn off here. We're heading left to the seafront, to where Tommy lives. junction we're sort of going well we're going right which is almost straight ahead but it is a right turn and amazingly we're back at Tonya's nice view of the harbour Hello, sir. You can just see the Espionard. You can walk across down there. Here we are approaching Tommy in the other direction. I won't turn in, but you would just normally turn left here into the car park. And the bike's starting to gather there now. On a Saturday or a Sunday when it's sunny, there's usually quite a lot of bikes. queue for fish and chips at Downies, another fish and chip shop, quite a good one I've heard. So there's a lot of references to Byron in Siam. I'll put the story in the comments. But it refers to Lord Byron and the time he spent here.
So that was Tommy, a local icon. He was on exhibit. Just plonked on the grass. And uh, the locals liked it. It brought visitors. It was sort of a focal point and it's right near the war memorial. And so some people got together, raised a campaign to buy the sculpture. And I think they raised about 50 or 60,000 pounds and the local council put the rest to it. And they've built him a nice platform and hopefully he's there for a very, very long time. depicts a World War One soldier one minute after peace has been declared and he's sitting down tired reflecting on the horrors he's seen in the war the Great War the war to end wars it was called well that didn't happen But a remarkable sculpture. So now you know where he is. There's no excuse not to visit. There's food, there's tea, there's coffee, there's alcohol that you shouldn't drink and drive. It's all right for a Filipillion passenger, of course. Fish and chips, ice cream, usually a whole load of other bikers. If you haven't been, get yourself down to Tommy, get your picture of your bike tuck in front of him. It seems to be a mandatory photo for everybody. At the minute a little bit difficult because they've got it all fenced off. It's not normally like that. on the year 19. I'm heading south to home. So on my channel we'll be taking you to places like Tommy, places where other motorcyclists go, places where there's something to see, covering from Yorkshire up to the borders. If this kind of thing interests you then hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, tell me why. I'm just starting out on this and it'd be good to uh, get some feedback, good or bad. So this has been Up North Biker. Keep safe, keep riding.